So I'm Alexander Lacey, the big cat trainer and presenter here on Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Presents Legends. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a little bit of the training process that each cat goes through uh, before they perform for the first time in front of an audience. All the tigers and lions are born and bred here on the show. The tigers that we have are the ninth, ninth generation that my family have bred and the lions that we have are the eleventh generation. Kashmir, sit down. These are the females, they're a little smaller the females. This is Bella. Good girl, Bella. Bella Place. Ah, 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 Susie Place. Good girl. Susie Elliot. Brav. Bella Place. Come on, quick. Bella, 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 Bella. Brav. Good girls. Okay, keep sending them in. Next we have Masai. He's the male lion. He's the biggest of the bunch. Come on, Masai. Good boy. Good boy, Masai. Eh? Masai, keep going. Elliot. Masai weighs 750 pounds, and when he was born, he weighed one pound. And he was hand reared by myself because his mother didn't have quite enough milk to feed him. Hey, come here. So he used to be, he was bottle fed by myself. Masai, sit. Masai, sit down, sit. Good boy. Okay, girls, Goldie plays. Goldie, Goldie, alley up. Goldie, go on. Goldie's the clown. She's always messing around. Alley up, Amber, good girl. Okay, keep going. Good girlies. Amber, sit. This is Princess Amali. They're the ones that make the most noise. You'll see in a second. Hurry up. Brav princess. Amber sit. Sit. Brav Mali. Good girls. Okay. As I said earlier, they mustn't be afraid of the guiders. I'm using a long guider now. The reason for that is when I have a big group of cats, I need to be able to talk, to communicate with every tiger. And if I have to touch them, uh, it's much easier for me to be able to stay in one place rather than run from one side of the arena to the other. So I can say, for example, Max, pay attention, you're next. Masai, you're next, pay attention. Kashmir, so on and so forth. Like I said earlier, they mustn't be scared of the guiders. You can touch the animals, but they don't shy away from them. They don't get nasty or nervous. They mustn't be afraid of the guiders, very important. So, they must respect me, like I said, but they mustn't be scared of me. 